simplify 3 plus root 5 over 2 plus root 3. Again, we're going to have to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. The denominator here is 2 plus root 3, so the conjugate of that is going to be 2 minus root 3. So we need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2 minus root 3. And here we're going to have to foil out the top and the bottom when we multiply. Let's start with the numerator. When we multiply the first terms, 3 times 2 gives us 6. When we multiply the outer terms, 3 times negative 3 is going to be negative 3 root 3. When we multiply the inner terms, root 5 times 2 is positive 2 root 5. And when we multiply the last terms, root 5 times negative root 3 is negative root 15. In the denominators, when we FOIL, the product of the first terms gives us 2 times 2, which is 4. The product of the outer terms is going to end up being negative 2 root 3. The product of the inner terms is going to be positive 2 root 3. And the product of the last terms is going to be negative root 9, which is the same as negative 3. Now again, we've got two terms in the denominator that when combined end up giving us 0, so those are going to go away. And then we can simplify the denominator. 4 minus 3 is just 1. In the numerator, we don't have any like terms, so there's nothing that can be combined. We just need to rewrite the numerator. And the very last step is anything divided by 1 is itself. So if we take that numerator and divide it by 1, we just get the numerator. So this is equivalent to 6 minus 3 root 3 plus 2 root 5 minus root 15. And this is our final simplified answer.